as we look at BZ Madden, the great veteran. Underneath her is Judgment, the Two jumps left. That's all that's between BZ Madden, Judgment, and a clear round in the derby. A second Shell Cup victory for BZ it's Madden. It's incredible jumping in for a horse that didn't like water. Over the final fence, she's got the time, and the United States lays claim to the CN International. What we've seen today, that was truly outstanding. BZ Madden defend its Bruce Meadows. Yes, she does. Now in, she is gonna open him up. Look at him go. Top gun for Derby competition, judgment. Absolutely unbelievable. Judgment, fantastic. Incredibly long career. Just a fantastic competitor. You always see that horse step into the ring enjoying his job. He gave a 110% every time he jumped. If they were behind you, you were in trouble. Judgment was really unbelievable and most of the time unbeatable. If he's comfortable at a facility, you know you're gonna lose. I mean, just Grand Prix after Grand Prix, he comes in and wins. He loves this place. He seems to swell up here. Judgment should live at Spruce Meadows. He's just an all-around amazing show jumper. He can do it all. Goes to BZ Madden and Judgment. It's actually pretty fun to watch, except when you're competing against him and he's jumping two feet over all the obstacles. He's a monster of a horse with an unbelievable scope, uh, tons of power. Judgment to me is a horse in a different league. September 2009 marked the final chapter in a remarkable story. It is the story of a black stallion that despite a late start, long odds, and many doubters, rose to the summit of international show jumping. It is the story of Judgment. Welcome to the 1976 Bruce Meadows Masters, and this afternoon we'll be featuring highlights of the... Ian Miller and Big Ben, our 1991 WA Limited. Are you ready? I hope so, Ian. This is going to be really exciting. Today, in front of over 65,000 people, a flood of memories and emotion took hold as the Maddens and Judgment were saluted at the Spruce Meadows Masters. Fans, media, and fellow athletes had come to say thanks for the years of great sport and great memories. In the spring of 2001, the Spruce Meadows National had a new player in the mix for the launch of its international tournament season. A series of circumstances and good fortune had delivered judgment to the stable of John and BZ Madden. We got judgment when he was nine years old, and he, he only had one other rider in his career, and that was Michael Matz. He had him since he was three years old, and then he competed with judgment until he was nine, and then Michael was retiring from show jumping. 
you know, different people have their different high moments and things like that in the sport. For sure, one of mine was uh, when a person that I respect as much as Michael Matz decided that he wanted his horses to come to Beezy and myself. That was one of the proudest moments for me. So one of those horses was Judgment. I was a little tentative at first because I knew he was, you know, he had a reputation of being a big, strong, powerful stallion. He for sure had the talent to go all the way. It was just a matter of whether he could get over the, his little fear of water. Looking back, it's easy to say what a great horse he is, but at that time, the jury was definitely still out. What I remember of Judgment, it's a horse that uh, years ago when we used to go to Tampa in Florida, it's a horse that would not jump a puddle, uh, would not jump any water obstacle. Now is one of the greatest derby horse in the world, so uh, for him to have overcome jumping over a little Liverpool of water into jumping derbies is quite an achievement because uh, some horses carry that fear for their entire career. John Madden walked me through it one day and explained it. What a brilliant um, piece of work that that and a testament to uh, Beezy and John of how they turned that around. I have a friend, Vinton Karish, and he was working at SeaWorld uh, doing marine mammal training. So um, we decided to apply some of the techniques of positive reinforcement training on judgment uh, that they use on killer whales and dolphins and that. And um, that was our first real experiment with uh, positive reinforcement training, and it worked out very, very well. He was trained to uh, do some tricks which is very easy to teach a horse to do a trick. The hard part's teaching the horse, you know, kind of a gray area. You want him to go fast, but you, how fast? You know, if you want to start and stop, it's easy, but there's, you need that bit of a dimmer switch type training in there. And basically, he knew if he jumped the water, that was a good thing. I have a theory about it that uh, the really great riders, they use it all the time. They just don't know they use it. They develop such a relationship with their horses they do a lot of positive reinforcement training, but in a very subtle way. The horses know when they did something right and they're rewarded through the relationship with the rider. But in a formalized way with a clicker training and a bridge and everything, I, I don't think it had ever been done with a horse before. This little machine here, we call it a clicker. And the clicker is simply, a, it makes a noise, and that noise is a signal to judgment that he did the right thing. So to start a horse with it, we simply offer the horse a, a little treat, carrots or sugar. We use carrots because we think they're a little healthier for the horse. And as he eats it, I give him a little click. He now knows that the click is a good thing because he's been being fed for it. Now I use this other little tool. We call it a target. It's a very simple tool with just a little buoy or something on the end of a stick. And when you're starting with a horse, just because of their curiosity, very often they'll be interested in this white target at the end of the stick. So by coincidence, a horse will very often touch it. He's been trained to touch it. So if I'm starting with a horse, I'll just simply say, target. And by chance, out of curiosity, he may touch it. When he touches it, I then click him or bridge him and told him he did the right thing. So now I'm going to show you a little bit how it works with a horse that has an idea what you're doing. Judgment, target, 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 good. And that time I did four bridges because I don't want to feed him every time he's bridged. He gets treated or rewarded on random intervals with the bridge. Judgment, target. Now he touched it once, and I'm going to treat him for doing it once. You don't need to feed every time you uh, bridge them. I'm going to try to get him to pick up all four legs without, without feeding him. Uh, with whale, marine mammal training, they have killer whales doing 20-minute shows and never get a reward. They only get the bridge. The bridge itself becomes a reward for the horse or the marine mammal. So judgment, give me your leg. Give me your leg. Give me your leg. Give me your leg. This one. Leg. He didn't try hard enough with this back one, so I'll do it again. Leg. Give me your leg. 
Give me your leg. Great. The tricks we do because the whole system is based on setting the animal up to succeed. The more we can, the more times I can bridge him, the more times I can feed him and tell him he did something right, the stronger this becomes to him, the stronger motivational factor this becomes to him. He learns that he wants this. So in a, comp a competitive atmosphere, out, out in the ring and everything with all the distractions, we want this to mean a lot to him. So when he jumps a water jump or a liver pool, it's got to be strongly enough enforced in his mind that even with 30,000 fans or 40,000 fans, he's going to pay attention to that and say, yep, I did a good thing when I jumped the water. At 10 years of age, and after being trained by Michael Matz, one of the world's most respected horsemen, judgment should have been hitting full stride for the peak competitive years ahead. As the stallion prepared to come through the Spruce Meadows clock tower for the first time in his career, there were few guarantees for judgment and plenty of questions still to be answered for John and BZ Madden. For over three decades, the Spruce Meadows International Ring has firmly established itself as international show jumping's field of dreams. For some, however, the massive arena with its huge crowds, demanding courses, and alluring thoughts of victory can quickly turn dreams into nightmares. Many horses and riders have come to Spruce Meadows with championship pedigrees and resumes for assured success. But many have found the legend and reality of the venue to be a tough lesson in strength of character. The 10-year-old stallion entered the stadium for the first time, fit and ready. No stone had been left unturned. Would he be comfortable and thrive in the ring? Or would he fold? And most concerning, how would he cope with the Spruce Meadows water? I think all the fans could have heard my heart pounding the first time he went into the international ring because I had no idea whether he was going to love it or hate it but he took to it like a duck to water. He was very good and it was a huge sigh of relief for us. It became clear that judgment would thrive and not fold in the international ring. What was not clear was what a dominant force the stallion would become through the next nine seasons. The stage was set and judgment was ready for whatever Spruce Meadows had to offer and for whatever John and BZ Madden asked of him. After his 2001 debut at Spruce Meadows, Judgment's role on the Madden roster quickly evolved into that of the go-to guy, Mr. Reliable. He's a worker. I mean, he does the derbies, he does the Grand Prix, he does the speed classes, he's won puissances, he's won six bars. I mean, he's the guy we could always rely on. He's always been the horse you can go to. You know, if it doesn't matter what competition it is. Uh, he's been a uh, knock on wood, a healthy, sound horse all his career. and. He's actually easier to handle on the road and at a, at a competition than he is at home. Some would say he's never been considered the first liner in the uh, BZ Madden stables. Other horses like Authentic or Cockney or De Silvio may have at times, you know, had that number one slot. But Judgment's been this horse that has been able to deliver the goods in Grand Prix events, speed events, Nations Cup events. Judgment's talents were clearly a luxury that few in the sport had, but all envied. He's just an all-around amazing show jumper. He could do it all, which a lot of horses, you know, they're either a derby horse or a speed horse. He did everything. He has all the scope in the world. He can be very careful. If he's comfortable, he's going to be very hard to beat. And then you put BZ Madden on top of Judgment, and you've got a force to be reckoned with. He was one of the most correct jumpers I ever saw. He could jump a fence beautifully. He's in great shape, great technique. He's like a, a weightlifter, a shot putter that can also do ballet. 
You know, he's a powerful horse. He's a horse that uh, can bound over the jumps with the greatest of ease and yet still be very careful enough to keep the tricky jumps up. And that's a, that's a rare, rare thing. All the power in the world. His genetics are good. Look at the, the length of career he's had, soundness. You just have to appreciate uh, his abilities. Judgment's career was a testament to the training, competition, and management schedules that the Maddens had designed for him. That horse is beautifully trained, and he focuses, he concentrates, he's the consummate professional when he steps into the competition venue. I think it's a real testament to BZ and her husband John how they've managed to maintain that horse's career, keep him for the places and the events that are important so that he's never overused, he's never sour. You always see that horse step into the ring enjoying his job and giving BZ everything he has and I think they've done a fantastic job at keeping that horse happy and loving what he does. Incredibly. It was Bruce Meadows, of all places, where Judgment's unique talents shone the brightest. The Maddens planned his schedule with this in mind. I think it's the, the size of the international ring and the size of Meadows on the Green. They're both big, open spaces, and he's a very, what we'd call a rangy horse. He has a, he has a very big stride. I think he gets pumped up with the crowd. He gets pumped up with the parade horses, the carriage horses, all, all those horses kind of get him puffed up a little and uh, he goes in the rain and he thinks he's king of the hill. Judgment here in Spruce Meadows, I don't know if it's the mountain, the Rocky Mountain air was really unbelievable and most of the time unbeatable. Judgment seemed to love this location and venue more than anywhere in the world and many of his best friends were here. He loves this place. He seems to swell up here. He seems to be at home in the big field. In other venues, it's a good horse. In this venue, he, he comes to life. Judgment's a great horse, but at Spruce Meadows, he's even better than great. He is unbelievable. Judgment had learned his lessons well and flourished in his role in the Madden stable. <laughs> Judgment's comfort level at Spruce Meadows and his ability to compete against and beat the best in the world was never more evident than during Spruce Meadows' 30th anniversary season in 2005. For riders and horses alike, it is generally accepted that in order to be considered one of the best ever, a victory in the $1 million CN International at the Spruce Meadows Masters is a must. Most believed that BZ and John would go with Authentic that day. But with the conditions as demanding as they were and, uh, and the stakes as high as they were, they went with the big stallion. They went with power. She's off to the races. Let's see if this big stallion can be careful and fast. Big stride. Forty-eight zero two, the time to beat. Boy, he's jumping very well, Ian. Beezy's really got him under control. Opening the strider over the Union Jack boxer. There's a really tight turn back to the plank. Two to go. She's got the time. Over the final fence, she's got the time, and for the first time since 1997, the United States lays claim to the CN International. And there is your champion, BZ Madden. step forward and hoist the hardware with Ed Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, BZ Madden of the United States, 
lifts the most coveted Grand Prix trophy in show jumping, the CN International. I can sit here and tell you today, I still can't believe that horse jumped three clear rounds. To go and produce that on that day, for sure was a testament to him, but I think a real testament to Beezy's riding and how she approached the course. I really believe there wasn't a rider on the planet that was going to take it away from BZ Madden aboard judgment that day. He jumped his first fence in the warm up and I said to the groom, I said, we're gonna win today. And I will tell you, those words have never come out of my mouth before. I'm very superstitious. I'm always looking for the worst word. You know, it's not over till they pass through the finish timers. But I don't think he was beatable that day. That day, he was the best horse in the world. The best horse in the world that day. A lofty claim indeed. But who could argue? Against a field that featured every current champion in the sport, Judgment fought his way through three clear rounds. A perfect day in the world's biggest Grand Prix. The high point in my career with Judgment has to be the CN International at the Masters. Winning that was a dream come true for me. It's something you, you, you always want to do. You want it on your resume as a rider. And it, you know, every year you go there, maybe this is the year. And to have that be the year, it was fantastic. Judgment's 2005 victory in the CN International was his first entry in the Spruce Meadows Championship record book. It would not be his last. BZ and Judgment had found their stride like never before in their four-year partnership. At the conclusion of the 2005 season, BZ Madden was enjoying life at the top of the Rolex FEI World Rider rankings, due in large part to having Judgment in her stable. The two were racking up Rolex World Ranking points at every opportunity, and in particular at Spruce Meadows, which had become Judgment's venue of choice for top international results. Judgment's role as a top Grand Prix and Nations Cup mount for BZ had come at a very important and opportune time. The confidence that the Maddens had in the stallion to compete at the top of the sport allowed them to manage their other horses, specifically authentic, through the demands of the calendar. The calendar consisted of an 11-month international schedule of Grand Prix, Nations Cup, and Championship events, with BZ Madden a mainstay for the United States equestrian team. As the months and years continued to roll on, Judgment showed no signs of slowing down. He was getting better with age, and remarkably, the sport had not yet experienced vintage judgment. Much to the delight of John and Beezy Madden and the stallion's owner, Iron Spring Farm, Judgment's major wins at Spruce Meadows were not confined to the international ring. The impressive environment of the meadows on the green also became a favorite playground for the stallion. It was here that Judgment took on the biggest names in the sport and jumped to two consecutive wins in the CN Performance Grand Prix. Beezy Madden squinting through the showers as she makes her way into the stadium aboard Judgment. The CN Performance uh, in Meadows on the Green, it always comes the week after the National and he's, he's had a heavy schedule at the National, so we usually only show him in the CN Performance Grand Prix that week. There's a reason she's amongst the best in the world. We're watching it right now aboard Judgment. Vice is incredible jumping in for a horse that didn't like water. No concerns on the conditions. Look at him go. Judgment looking very sharp as she charges towards the final line. And she was going to leave one out there, 42-31. Three seconds faster than Jill Henselwood.
12 months later, the conditions could not have been more different. The competition, however, was just as intense. As we look at BZ Madden, the great veteran, underneath her is Judgment, the 17-year-old Dutch bred stallion. And into the jump off they come, and they'll want to go clean, and they'll want to go fast. One jump off that will live in my memory for the rest of my life is uh, CM Performance from 2008 with BZ Madden winning. Looking to defend her title in this event, a year ago under just awful conditions, she in judgment jumped to victory. Up over the bicycle, she took a much more aggressive line. And he is so unassuming in his pace. He has got a huge stride. And you're really going to see it now, Ian. She is going to open him up. Look at him go. Down the final line, BZ Madden. It stays up. She's across the finish line. She has laid it down for the rest to come and try and take. The fact that it went down to one one thousandth of a second, it was absolutely ridiculous. How you could get uh, that many people of that quality that close together was crazy for me. Again, he just rises to the occasion. We actually were tied to the hundredths of a second, and I ended up winning by, I don't know how many thousandths of a second, but whatever it was, it was a tiny bit. And hoist the hardware. Ladies and gentlemen, the CN Performance Grand Prix goes to BZ Madden and Judgment of the United States. The nature of the wins and the drastic differences under which each of the victories took place spoke volumes about Mr. Reliable. Rain or shine, he delivered. Judgment really proved to me with his back-to-back -back wins in the CN Performance Grand Prix that he was a horse for all courses and all conditions. It really showed what this horse was made of. It was here at Spruce Meadows that he and Beezy brought their A game. This was growing increasingly frustrating for the competition to contend with. On a big field, it's almost unfair to have to try to go against BZ Judgment. He can jump high, he can jump wide, and then he can go fast and do it all again. Solid, solid winner, any day, any place. You're talking about something that can jump higher than any other horse. BZ can go faster than most any other rider. That's tough to beat. The Spruce Meadows International Ring is massive. It covers more than four acres and can easily accommodate five football fields. Part of its legend is built on the natural obstacles that are permanent fixtures of the Spruce Meadows Derbies. These include the open water, the road jump, the bank, the Liverpools, and the Devil's Dyke. Through the decades, each of these natural obstacles has played a significant role in the fortunes and disappointments of those who have taken them on. I think there was a certain sense of relief for John and BZ Madden when Judgment seemed to thrive in his debut in the International Ring at Spruce Meadows. But when it came to his first Spruce Meadows Derby, there were still some questions. The natural jumps that you see, we get very little of that in our normal competition. You know, we'll get a water jump in a Liverpool, an occasional ditch, but never the Devil's Dyke and never the Big Bank. And until you go through it for real, you never know what your horse is going to do and how it's going to react to it. And it takes a real strong horse, not only to get through it the first time, but to want to keep coming back to it. In their long history, the Spruce Meadows Derbies have proven to be the ultimate test of international show jumping. Few horses in the sport, past or present, have been able to excel as both Grand Prix and Derby contenders. Those that have carry with them all-time great status. In June of 2001, Judgment was started in the Shell Cup Derby. 
the final event of the Spruce Meadows Canadian Open Show Jumping Championship. It's Judgment Day at Spruce Meadows, not only for BZ Madden and Judgment, but also for some of the best international horse rider combinations in the sport. Here for the final leg of the Spruce Meadows Canadian Open Show Jumping Championship, the most demanding leg, the Shell Cup. Judgment found his comfort zone early over the kilometer long track that asks every question of horse and rider. After descending the Spruce Meadows bank, Madden pointed the stallion to the Devil's Dyke. It was here that any hope of victory evaporated for the pair. Judgment crossed the finish line with a very respectable eight faults to secure third place and his first of 26 Spruce Meadows medals. It was an incredible score. To go in in there and do that on a horse that you're unsure about the naturals, it's great. I mean, it was a really, really positive result. He would not jump another derby for four seasons. It was determined by his ownership group that they were sitting on a very special Grand Prix horse. And very few horses in the world can thrive as both Grand Prix and Derby horses. So I think it was decided that the priority would be put on Grand Prix and maybe for a, a safety basis and, uh, and the fact that there's only so many jumps in a horse's legs, they would step away from the Derbys. In the spring of 2005, John and Beasy were successful in convincing Judgment's owners, Iron Spring Farm, that the 14-year-old stallion was up to the challenge of the Spruce Meadows Derbies. Against a field that included some of the best in the sport, Beasy Madden guided the stallion into a jump-off against Brazil's Rodrigo Pessoa and Great Britain's Michael Whitaker. Beasy Madden has gone into the ring. There she is aboard Judgment. This big Dutch bred stallion will eat up the ground in here, whether or not he has the same speed as Laconda or Richmond Park, who will follow with Rodrigo Pessoa. We will soon find out. She's down on the time, Ian. That's a tight turn to the double of Liverpool. Does it help her? Indeed it does, look at that. Almost half a second faster, and that shows you the size of this stallion stride. She didn't look like she had the pace, but that's relativity at play for you. Rodrigo Pessoa, who's not known for letting up on the accelerator, will be last into the ring now. Rodrigo scooting across the water. That's an even tighter turn into the final double. No problems here, he's across the finish line, a look skyward to the scoreboard, say no more. There's the champion of the Shell Cup Derby, Rodrigo Pessoa. When you look at that jump off, the turn she makes to the double of Liverpool's right at the end, for me that totally underlined all the belief now they had in the horse. I think for the Maddens at that point, you got the sense, it's over. We don't even need to talk about this anymore. It's, it's in the past. There's, there's nothing left other than now to go jump and win. It was victory for Pessoa, but vindication for the Maddens. Their belief in judgment was awarded with a silver medal. However, there would be another chance to add a gold to their derby medal collection. In the spring of 2006, Judgment arrived at Spruce Meadows after a successful winter in Florida and representing the United States at the World Cup final in Kuala Lumpur in April. At 15 years of age, Judgment was fit and sound, and he had arrived at his favorite venue, ready to take on the world. Despite a competitive schedule that had taken him around the globe, it was here at Spruce Meadows that he played at the top of his game and shone like nowhere else. Already recognized as a perennial Grand Prix favorite, 
Judgment began an incredible three-year run that established him as one of the great derby horses in the sport's history. The natural obstacles, specifically the water, were now handled with seeming ease. The fans and the Maddens were delighted. The same could not be said for the competition. Judgment was one of those horses that if he's comfortable at a facility, at a place, you, you know, you're going to lose. I've been beat by Judgment to be the bridesmaid in the Derby with Black Ice. It's actually pretty fun to watch, except when you're competing against him and he's jumping two feet over all the obstacles. It's just uh, one of these partnerships at Spruce Meadows that's been really hard to beat. Judgment had been denied Derby gold on his previous two attempts. But from 2006 through 2008, it was a completely different story. In 2006, Judgment and Madden finally conquered the Shell Cup, winning with the only clear round. This gave Beezy her second Shell Cup victory, but her first on Judgment. Final entry to go with her top gun for Derby competition, Judgment. The big stallion who finished off the 2005 season at Spruce Meadows by winning the million dollar CN International in the jump off a year ago in this event against Great Britain's Michael Whitaker and Brazil's Rodrigo Pessoa. This big stallion has such an immense stride, overcome his early career problems with water jumps and certainly experienced in the Devil's Day. Really getting to the tough part of this course now, Ian. She's at the top of the bank. It's a little greasy now with this rain. She threw it onto the Devil's Dyke. Oh, outstanding stuff. Pull through the Devil's Dyke. Charging towards the water now. Another hurdle out of the way. Two jumps left. That's all that's between BZ Madden, Judgment, and a clear round in the derby. No faults, time not a problem. A second Shell Cup victory for BZ Madden of the United States in pure championship form. For the second time in her career, she lays claim to the Shell Cup Derby at the Spruce Meadows National. BZ Madden, ladies and gentlemen. Two thousand seven brought with it a fresh challenge. The inaugural Nexon Cup was a different test. A brand new course had been designed for this derby, and in the tradition of this great competition, it proved to be just as demanding. Well, I was thinking I had a real good chance to do well in the class. It's always very difficult to jump a clear round, but I have a lot of confidence in judgment now. To be honest, it's one of the proudest things in my career that that horse can win a derby because he had a history of a fear of natural obstacles. So the fact that he goes around the derby course as well as he does is uh, a, a real accomplishment. And we'll watch this great combination, Judgment and BZ Madden. They have written a rather legendary resume themselves here at Spruce Meadows over the years. And BZ Madden really is on top of her game right now. And with this stallion, they are a threat anywhere they compete in the world. Coming off the bank, we, we practice that at home, but you never know quite how it's going to work out when you get there. And uh, he tends to bound off the bank a little, which makes the distance to the fence uh, a little tight for him. And uh, for a big horse, he's gotten quite clever, and he really helped me out there. The Devil's Dyke is obviously the brave test of the course, so I rode in quite strong. He probably doesn't need that anymore, but uh, this year the Devil's Dyke was actually going a different direction than it is normally, so I didn't want to trust that he would recognize it going a different direction. So I rode him quite strong, and uh, that's why he hit it, but uh, I got a little lucky and 
straight off. Just two jumps left, Ian. Up over the Canada planks, one jump to go. Clear round in the Nexon Cup, on the line. The legend of BZ Madden and judgment continues here at Spruce Meadows, and it wasn't long for her to get the hands off the reins and wave to the crowd, kind of her signature. It's as much emotion as she ever shows, along with that great smile. Oh, it was a great feeling, because uh, out of almost 30 horses, I was the only one to go clear so far, so. The odds are kind of with you that you won the class. It was a great feeling. It was a brand new course. No one knew how it was going to ride. First time anybody had done all three parts of the Devil's Dyke from the south end going to the north. So I think that was a great feat. Champions podium here at Spruce Meadows. Ladies and gentlemen, the inaugural Nexon Cup goes to BZ Madden and Judgment of the United States. Oh, it's great to have your name first one on the trophy. Anytime you win that class, whether it be the first time for that sponsor and that trophy or not, it's a fantastic feeling. I think a big part of his success, and this isn't taking anything away from judgment, but is Beezy. You know, she instills confidence in him, and they've got a great relationship. I think we just know each other so well. Now when I walk a course and I make a plan, I don't have to make a plan that I think judgment has to do. I think I make a plan that I is the best to jump the course clear. The following season, the rain was back. So was the final result. Clear round and derby champion once again. Defending champion BZ Madden and judgment last to go. No room for error. The sense you get from them is they're, they're on their game. Everything is nicely flowing. Defending champions looking to complete a natural hat trick on the final day of the national. Her job now is to make sure that she doesn't get carried away, that she sticks with her plan. Whatever their plan was coming in, to give him the best chance to execute, because right now she's getting the feeling from him, all systems are go. The natural obstacles, which are a huge part of the test in the Derby, um, I think he feels very at home here now, so he's not generally shocked by them anymore. He's learned it. He about knows the course. We have a lot of the fences at our field at home. You know, obviously it's not the same as you get in the rain, and uh, the Devil's Dyke is always hard, no matter how much you practice it at home. Well, it looked a little sloppy coming in. It's broken down quite a bit with all the entries, but Judgment handled it. And now they have 15 seconds to bring it home. Can't give a rail. One left to go. Will BZ Madden defend at Spruce Meadows? Yes, she does. Extraordinary. They are something else when the chips are down. On any day, that would be an incredible ride. In these conditions, over this track, with what we've seen today, that was truly outstanding. It was an unparalleled three-year run at the Spruce Meadows National, solidifying Judgment's place in the hearts and minds of those who came to watch the great stallion compete. The fact that it was three derbies on a horse that had real issue with water, it will be one of the, the things that she'll take most pride in is an astounding feat. These three gold medal derby performances helped crown Judgment Spruce Meadows Canadian Open champion, an achievement that required consistent top flight jumping over four strenuous days. It really is testament to the toughness, the talent, and the, uh, the fitness level of this horse. To do it three years in a row and by doing so, lay claim to three consecutive Spruce Meadows National Canadian Championships is something that will keep judgment in the record books for a long, long time. Judgment came to Spruce Meadows in June of 2009 
as both the three-time Derby winner and defending Spruce Meadows Canadian Open champion. Prior to the start of the season, it was determined that 2009 would be his last. The decision to retire judgment was a mutual one with the owner, Mary Alice Malone, uh, and Iron Spring Farm. He has uh, another career in breeding that he's been doing, and you know they've laid off of that a little bit as he got older because it can be hard on him to do both. It's very important to Mrs. Malone and to Beezy and I for him to finish on a high note. We don't want him to be really heading downhill in his career and people saying, oh, why don't they retire that horse? Judgment was still an impressive equine athlete, exhibiting all of the qualities that had taken him to the top. Every time he comes out, everybody says, wow, he looks great, and how old is he now? And they can't believe that he's 18. On the final day of the 2009 Spruce Meadows National, Judgment entered the stadium with BZ Madden. The plan was to carry her to a fourth consecutive derby title and for Judgment to lead one final victory ride at Spruce Meadows. Well, will BZ and Judgment know how to deal with these conditions? Absolutely perfect as opposed to the deluge they delivered in last year. 18 years of age, but Judgment has had very little work this year. John and BZ Madden have saved him for this event. I mean, really, Ian, there's, you know, there's no surprises here for, for either of uh, these two. They, they know exactly what they have to do. Clear wins it, time faults win it, but more than four faults and they will not win a fourth consecutive at Spruce Meadows. Bit of a rub there, but got by with it. Here we go. The streak ends for Judgment and BZ Madden. Two rails at the Devil's Dyke. You can sort of sense the disbelief in the audience right now. Close to 40,000 people here at Spruce Meadows who love this horse and rider, and they will congratulate them right now on a job well done, but not a victory in the Nexon Cup. Judgment's final derby at Spruce Meadows unfolded not unlike his first trip around the course, nearly a decade earlier. Eight faults, all of them at the Devil's Dyke. An impressive result by most standards, but not impressive enough for a fourth consecutive victory. The result in June of 2009 in no way diminished the atmosphere and the outpouring of admiration and respect that was evident at Spruce Meadows two months later at the Masters Tournament. It was a day that will long be remembered. Over 65,000 fans streamed to the grounds for a chance to bid judgment a final farewell from the stadium that he had dominated for nearly a decade. Oh, it was a fantastic feeling. It was a packed stadium, full of people, and all giving him a standing ovation. I thought it was fantastic mixed emotions, sad that he was retiring, but uh, happy that we were celebrating his career and there were so many people there and such a beautiful day to do it on. It was, it was, it was fabulous as well as sad. I got a little choked up by it. You know, it's a real honor to get to be involved with a horse like Judgment. A lot of thoughts of all the great things he did were running through my mind and um, I think a lot of people had that feeling and it was great to see all the people out there with the same appreciation for such a horse. As they rode around the international ring for one final time, it was as if time stood still. Every victory, every medal, every monumental effort over every jump came together, creating a single memory, the memory of a remarkable horse. 
judgment. He gave a 110% every time he jumped, and it was great to see them jump. Judgment, fantastic. He's won a lot of significant competitions at Spruce Meadows. It's just uh, one of these partnerships at Spruce Meadows that's been really hard to beat. What I'm most proud of for Judgment is his true character came through. I think he'll be a, a horse that everybody says what a career that horse had. He had a bad rap as a young horse. He didn't deserve it. I think he's proved himself. I think he'll have more respect in his retirement than he even had when he was competing. And I hope he produces some really good offspring so his name and his legacy goes on.